Tony. Welcome back for the finale of Heavy Rain. We now know who the origami killer is. It's Scott Shelby, our private investigator. And we're going to head right into this. This is going to be the confrontation of Ethan Mars, Scott Shelby, Norman Jaden, and Madison Page all coming together. Hopefully we can get the best possible ending out of this. I just want to show everybody here. Um, when you go to difficulty sentence, I have it set on I play video games very often. I'm perfectly familiar with the wireless controller. There's quite regularly and occasionally. I do have this set on the highest difficulty. So whatever ending we end up with is whatever we end up with. Whoever dies, dies. I'm not changing anything. We are going in this one run. Let's find out how our story ends. Hit that like button if you are excited for the finale. And make sure you subscribe because tomorrow, Cyberpunk debuts on the channel. And it's probably going to be the main game on this channel for quite some time. That's probably a huge game. So just, if you're excited for that, hit the like button here. And make sure you subscribe because that's going to come out tomorrow. I'm pumped for it. And I am recording this video on Wednesday of the previous week. I'm over a week ahead now, so... I've been looking for her long, long time. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Get up off the porch. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then, I remember you. So he was there. All those murders, just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered. Just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trial. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grave. Norman. been this far. Yeah, just 
give me QTs. Position. Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Well, he did kill that one guy. Oh. Not even funny. That's actually not a thing anymore. Breathing? I don't think. I think they removed that from C car. It's not effective. We just do the chest compressions. Out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Freaking motion controls again. What's going on? The cops. 
They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look, we'll all go out together with, with our hands in the air and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence with me. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. Ladies and gentlemen, we've succeeded. This morning, when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance, Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Hmm. Is this where we can live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can keep on looking until we find something you like. It doesn't matter where we live. As long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. We're stuck with each other, kiddo. Like glue. Can I choose what my room is? Sure thing, champ.
Moscow is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Origami. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing this is to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Hmm. Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer or and Amy. saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good evening. that he wouldn't kick the drug. That's how I was playing, but oh well. Kicked, kicked, kicked it anyway. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, this ending, yeah. I've never gotten a different ending for him except for when he died in one of my playthroughs I did of this game. And this ending, like, it's so weird. It, I, I guess it implies that he has permanent brain damage, but I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's gonna be weird. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? You don't know why you did all this.
Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. Hit that like button. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this game overall. The story. The story that I told. I did um, pretty much get to tell the story that I wanted to tell. With this. Uh, didn't screw up enough to screw that up. So I'm glad that I got to tell the story I was looking to tell when I first started out. Um, stay tuned for more games. Uh, like this, this is my favorite type of game. Um, I will be playing the other two David Cage games on this channel eventually. But as you guys know, we have Cyberpunk coming up tomorrow. And that will probably take us all the way until the Mass Effect Legendary Edition comes out. And we will probably go right into that after that. And then after that, I will probably try to do another Pokemon Nuzlocke. Um, that's kind of the plan for the channel for the upcoming, I don't know, year? It's <laughs> just about, um, unless I get to a point where, uh, I'm actually start making money off of this channel and can make it my full-time job, which doesn't seem like that's ever gonna happen. Perfectly okay there, I'm gonna keep on doing it just for the fun of it. I enjoy doing this, so... Even if I don't get to a point where I'm uh, making money, I'm still going to release a video every day. It's just what I enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, uh, if we do get to a point where I dedicate more time to this channel, then yeah, definitely you can start seeing more than one game being played at the same time. But as of right now, it's just going to be one game at a time. So we're looking at probably the next year being taken up by Cyberpunk, Mass Effect, and Pokemon. Uh, this year we had Pokemon, uh, Fahrenheit, and this, so, but we started pretty late in the year. That's going to take a whole year of time. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're pumped up for the next series, remember to be here tomorrow. Episode 1 will be dropping. Other than that, guys, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Hit that notification bell so you actually get notified. All these things help me grow my channel and help me get to that point to where we're, we got more people here. The more people we, we have here, the more fun this is going to be in my mind. So other than that, though, guys, I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time. Peace!